Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to continue with the 2015 Winmore World Masters here at Hull City Hall. And the next man we introduce to the stage is a current Northern Ireland international. Welcome, Kyle McKinstry. We now introduce a former Winmore World Masters finalist. He's been a Dutch Open, British Open and Zouderdown Masters champion. It's England's Dazzler, Daryl Fitton. Well, the dazzler. Is he going to dazzle us? Daddle Fitton, number eight seed against Kyle McKinstry. The lad from Ballymore in County Armagh, Northern Ireland. Uh, absolutely delighted, of course, Northern Ireland celebrating their success at football with that victory over Greece last night. And uh, those are the people who uh, have been seen to by Kyle McKinstry over the last uh, day or two in the qualifying rounds one or two decent players there Nick Kenny is a very good Welsh player remember that young man last year and uh, so he's uh, he's got Schindler on his list as well there so uh, the Northern, Northern Ireland lad Daryl certainly got a uh, pedigree of sorts he, yes they, they beat Greece didn't they to qualify for the European Soccer Championships and he's like everybody else not only in Northern Ireland, but everywhere else. Alan, I believe you're down there with uh, our special guest, number one seed. Uh, Glenn, in commentary, John Gwynn said that he felt like your opponent might have just felt the nerves on the first time visit on the big stage. Did you sense that as well? You know, beforehand, I was hoping that was the case, but when I was practicing with him, he won the bullseye. He felt really confident, so you know, I was hoping that was going to be the case. And uh, yeah, it was a big 100. moment for him. And, uh, I sort of took, I took sort of charge of that really. Uh, that pressure works both ways, doesn't it? Because you're now ranked number one here at this tournament. Do you feel it a little bit? Yeah, I think the first leg showed that. You know, I don't like uh, being. I probably don't like being first seed. I think if being the underdog is probably a better thing, really. But uh, I'm playing really, really good darts, and uh, you know, I felt like once I got into the game, there there was only going to be one winner. Uh, Mark McGinney seems Whoa! full of confidence. Uh, he seems full of good darts as well. That's going to be a big challenge. Mm -hmm. He's a super player. And he's got a better record against me than I've got against him. And I, you know, and Mark McGinney scares me. He's that good of a player. So uh, I need to be on my top. I didn't want to get any further. There you go. Good luck for the rest of the week then. Well, he's certainly honest, isn't he? Mark McGinney scares me. I'm not saying he's going to run away. He isn't. Uh, that's a great leg of darts by Daryl Fitton. He had the 180. You probably heard it called during that interview, and then polished it off. A beautiful 11 darter there from uh, Fitton. He is such a good player, Daryl Fitton. And, uh, Few have moved as far as he has in the rankings during 2015. Uh, Fitton started the year at number 16 and uh, now he finds himself at number eight and uh, there's been a, a wonderful um, almost tempted to say resurgence in his career was runner up in this event uh, eight nine years eight years ago eight years ago i remember watching it at home and uh, Daryl lost in the final to robert thornton um, but but it was one heck of a final it really was 134. There were pivotal moments in it as well, as I recall, that might have might have turned the game a different way. 59. 
43. This uh, young fella, 29 years of age, from Magasha, Dungan, uh, Dungan, as he says. Is it Dungannon? Ballymore, County Armagh. 134. He gave me everything but his postcode, actually. Um, says he's an Area 9 county player. One hundred and fourteen. Oh. Unlucky, Darrell. Carly requires and, uh, sixty-eight. Sixty-eight he wants to try and level up in this opening set. Now sixteen for double sixteen. Fifty-two. So is that Don't costly that miss? 89. Because fitting eighty-nine, there's treble nineteen, double sixteen. Now he'll go twenty bull or treble twenty double five. Bull beckons. 58. Well, Darrell will confirm. 16. He really did go for it, folks. Honest. Double four. Oh, got to get this just inside. Eight. Oh, unlucky. Well, I fancied that four. somehow. Now, fit and 31. 15, double eight. Game no problem. Set. No double problem. Two. two nil. And the first set. Second set, first leg, Kyle, two, so first, game on. Fifty-five. Let's go and listen to the Canadian, John Norman Jr. A defeat, but his first appearance on this stage. 85. Uh, John, not only a first visit on the stage and live at the darts, but a first visit to England in general. Yes, I love England. Uh, London was wonderful and our first day of visit. Uh, Paul has been amazing. And, uh, the two qualifiers really set me up for today. And uh, Glenn Durant showed his class. Uh, and I hope I represented Canada, uh, Newfoundland, uh, and everybody back home. I appreciate all your love and support. Uh, did you find that the pressure did hit you on the on the big stage? No, uh, it did. Ten o'clock this morning. Yeah, but uh, I came into the practice room. Uh, I went over and shook Glenn's hand. Uh, Glenn came up on the board and practiced with me and wished me all the best. And uh, it was a good match. I wish you all the best for the future. We're back up to John. Yes. Well, he didn't quite do as well as his dad in '88. His dad got knocked out in the second round. But uh, he got knocked out in the first. But I'm sure he'll be back and uh, better for the experience. So uh, back to this game, McKinstry. 42. With uh, partner Danielle, wife Danielle looking on, and two kids, Caitlin and Molly, two girls. He said they'll be watching. And, uh, well, I hope that you still believe that your dad 60. can do it but he is playing against a very very fine player in Darrell Fitton he uh, comes from originally Stockport but he's moved some years ago now just around the M60 to Urmston very close to uh, where we played the World Trophy last uh, February in Manchester now he's well, 170 would always 72. would always have been nice oh, to see. It never was to be, but this is a chance for McKinstry. Got to get that treble 20 for double eight now. Yes, this is on double eight. 80. Unlucky lad, unlucky. So, having gone one set up, including an 11 darter in that opening uh, set, that'll fit him. Now attempting to win the second set at this particular visit, but uh, unable to do so. It's his second bounce out, I think. Yes, he had one off 19s, didn't he? So, double eight for McKinstry. Come on. Well, I'm sure... The chain long might have got that. He certainly scored the goal last night. Oh no, that was the Republic of Ireland, wasn't it? Of course it was. Who did well as well, didn't they? Excellent. 50. Yes, with Northern Ireland beating Greece and Republic of Ireland beating Germany. 
Irish eyes are smiling. Now then, all they need is the Rugby World Cup. Oh, good leg, good leg, good leg. That's his first one. But very much still in this match. Ninety-eight. Yes, Fitton's had a, a good year. He's, he's, he's been a finalist in the Dutch Open, the Jersey Classic. He's had good runs to the semis in the Swedish Open, Denmark Open, Czech 100. Open. But of course, he's got a history. He was a runner-up in this in 2007. He's been semi-finalist a couple of times in the World Championships. And uh, a player good enough, in fairness, to have won much more than he has. But he's been one of those players that's always given a good run for his money. 59. Past winner of the Zidadin Masters, which is uh, one of the hardest competitions to win Whoa. over on the continent. There's a 180 pinpoint accuracy, his second maximum. And uh, that one was such that you probably could have got two more 180s if you'd had the arrows. Mm, that's a nice adder as well. Oh, double 10. 320 in six darts. A brilliant 12 darter from Daryl Fitton. And that's what that man's made of. 180 followed by a 140 checkout. Absolutely fantastic. A six dart 3 2 0. Oh. Don't see them that often. Yes, Darrell was a world semi-finalist 10 years ago, 11 years ago nearly. And uh, Mark McGinney, man of the moment. Yes, there's only one of them. But um, plays uh, Glenn Durant tomorrow, that will be a cracker. That really will. And then four years later, he got to the final in 2005, and then four years later, would have loved Darrell Fitton to win that become a world champ really would um, say the same about Tony O'Shea as well who's another from Stockport who of course is Darrell's bosom buddy City. fortunately not in this competition anymore at this stage fifty seven There were times when Darrell, it one wondered, uh, and, and indeed Tony, one wondered, were they going to make the move to the other half of the Great Divide, and uh, which is not such a divide as it might have been once, because the great news, of course, that Andy Fordham and Larry Butler have made it into the Grand Slam of Darts next month. Along with those who've accepted invites, including Martin Adams, that's going to be some competition. Anyway, 57 for McKinstry, and this is for the set. So what a chance. Nice marker. Fancy it. Yes, gets it. Well done, lad. So it's Northern Ireland 1, England 1 now in sets. McKinstry shows, demonstrates... That Fitton has a game on his hands. Not that Darrell for one moment thought that he hadn't. 60. Says his mum and dad will be watching 60. too. Very proud mum and dad watching the lad on telly. Playing against one of the BDO superstars here. And giving him a game. 
140. Member of the Northern Ireland World Cup squad. Later this 95. month playing in Turkey. So a great time in his career. 44. And if he could take the scalp of a seeded player, number eight seed Darrell Fitton, that would enhance his value on the transfer 89. market, if anything would. To leave 161 and uh, 100 behind, therefore. Not for long, though. One Not for long! A brilliant 180 60 from the Irish lad! And his first of the match couldn't come at a more apposite moment. He's 80 ahead now, and fitting that 161 suddenly became a must brilliant though from Fitton to leave 24 and now McKinstry has to take out 81 this is some game 12 for Bull oh he's missed the 12 going for the treble going for the treble he's fallen short the single 12 would have at least given him a shot at the red bit in the middle and he may rue the fact now that he didn't go for big 12 that's what happens if you go for the treble sometimes. Anyway, 24 for Fitton. No messing. No messing there. That was excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. McKinstry gave himself a chance, but Fitton hit back with a big score and took out the 24 beautifully. It was a 1-3-7, wasn't it? That he hit to leave him on 24. And um, I'll take your word for it. So 119 for Fitton, needing this leg, or if not this one, the one after it, for victory. And uh, let me get my enhanced glasses. Let me give him a sheet, which is oh 140. Give him a sheet which has acres of space on it and they fill a little tiny space in the middle that somebody might of my ancient my ancient years won't be able to see without a, a magnifying glass 78 well all three trebles but 78 78 only Unlucky 45. Well, not unlucky. No, it was. It was. Uh, he's, he has left himself one two five, which is a finish. But uh, Fitton could finish it off here. Could he just bullseye? I don't believe it. Oh, I would have had to. 25 left for Fitton. So to save his skin, that's 50. He may stay there. He went for the 25 for the 50. But anyway, he's maybe putting his darts in his pocket now for the last time because Fitton. Game no. from the third set. Third set it is. It's the third set to Daddle Fitton. It's the third set to Daddle Fitton. He still needs another one, of course. And. Uh, the Northern Ireland lad had a great chance there to give us a real demonstration of bull shooting. Got the bull, couldn't get the 25. 93. 93. Two sets to one then to fit. One more needed for the likeable Stockport man. Fifty-eight. 
Three maximums in the match. And another 140 to boot. And another one up the ante now. So Fitton won the first set 2-0. The second set went to Kyle McKinstry 2-1. Fitton had an 11 darter in the opening leg of the match. He had a 12 darter, the one leg he won in the second set. Nothing quite like that since. 99. Yeah, dart players love the lie of this. I thought he might have gone for the lot. No, he couldn't. He's on 187. How silly of me. 64 wanted for McKinstry, so Fitton's got work to do here. Seventy-two To leave, 132, but McKinstry. Another one of those. Now the double. 32. Now, I like this finish because the Bull Bull double 16 is a delight to the eye. But even 25 treble 19 Bull is good as well. <laughs> you let me down, Daryl. So 32 for McKinstry. Moves across. Go over the top of that dart. 16. Over the top we did, but wrong Double line, so 16. now suddenly Fitton has a chance. And this is one that McKinstry will have lost as much as Fitton won. Double 16. 36. Well, yet again McKinstry has a goal. Oh, double four. Eight. So the green, no good to the man in green. And now Fitton for double, double 16. You can see the reaction there, couldn't you, from the Irishman. He really knows he ought to have wrapped this up. He may not get another visit. He may. Not sure which way to go here, Darrell, whether to go across to the right and attack those two arrows at an angle, or go to the left and go over the top of that. I think he's gone for the former. 16. Either way, it was never going to be easy. Eight. So, eight now for McKinstry, still having a chance. Double two. Four. Well, well, yes, you may well. 16. Show frustration because it is frustrating when this happens when you can't nail that final double to take the leg. Eight. Back again you come. Kyle. Game yes. Kyle well, it took a while, Kyle. But this time Second you did it. One leg up in the fourth set. And knowing that he'll be throwing first in the next leg, advantage in this set anyway to the man 16. from Northern Ireland. Some Japanese players 69. in the ladies' competition and uh, obviously enjoying their uh, time here. We'll be seeing. Uh, Couple of Japanese players tomorrow, I think. One hundred. <laughs> You've had your chips, mate. One hundred. Yeah, good darts, Daryl. Those are the dazzler darts that we like to see. 
certainly that he likes to see and his fans like to see. And again. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant dart from the Dazzler. As good as a maximum, 174, leaving him on 36. Good reply, good reply, but. Yes. Well, in five darts there. He finished that one in the same way that earlier you'll remember he took out 3 2 0 oh, in six darts with a 180 and a 140 finish. But this lad's a good player, got loads of character. Second 180 puts him in pole position to make it two sets all but fitting. Been there before, won the dart shirt knows that you got to dig deep sometimes, hang on in there, do the biz when you really have to. One hundred. Well, seeds are scattered to the wind in this competition so far. And Fitton doesn't want to be one of them, the number eight seed, but you sense the longer the game goes, the more McKinstry fancies his chances. And his chances are certainly, other than fanciful, should he take this out, 80 left. He wanted treble 16 for double 16, but that's an excellent visit. Excellent score, and now we are on the cusp of going into a deciding set, methinks. 48 needed, struggled on the doubles here. Oh, 41, might have done him a favour. One dart at tops here. Eight. He's going to go for tops rather than the 16s and the 8s. But Fitton here might go for tops as well if he can get a treble 20 and a single 20. That's the first part. Now the single. Now the double to Shanghai. Eight. Oh, it would have Shanghai'd him. Can't live a to a remarkable team. win. But this could take the game into a decide. He's got to get this double 10. Oh, he's not equal to it. Yes, he sags again. Now, 40 for Fitton. We know, we know, don't we, that this is a pivotal moment. McKinstry misses his chance. Fitton doesn't. And Darrell Fitton has made sure that another seed goes into the second round. McKinstry did his best, but in the end it wasn't quite good enough. His doubles let him down. This could have gone to a decider. Pat on the back from the Dazzler. And words of encouragement, I have no doubt, for the 29-year-old. Nice shake of the hand. Good sporting contest. We'll be seeing Daryl Fitton back tomorrow in round two. Yes, he'll play the winner of our next game, which is uh, James Hoddle and the reigning champion, Martin Phillips.